Mr. Prime Minister Honorable Modi Sir, and all the other people involved with high spirituality in India, which will definitely hold Rishikesh and Vrindavan in very high esteem, because these are the two places of Narayan. And wherever there is Narayan, Mother Ganga, Mother Yamuna have to be with Aarti, with all the cleaning zeal that today, after taking me, who is a judge in the Uttar Pradesh government, and Dr. Meghna Chaudhary, who is a doctor herself. These are other doctors with whom we were having the scientific seminar. So this is Dr. Vartaka. All of them also first took the injections. As we were explaining what this whole thing is about, and we were giving them all the scientific knowledge behind it, they were all more, these are all the doctors of that region. And they were all also interested in taking the injections themselves. Along with that, they understood that yes, we can do certain things, like two of the doctors were orthopedic. So they said, yes, we can try and make cartilage changes if we can do cartilage mapping under MRI. So instead of going for knee replacement, hip replacement, we would first give the injections and get cartilage mapping done. If we know that we have come to a base level that the cartilage has been repaired, then we may not even require to do knee replacement or hip replacement. Why was this? Because I already told them that in the last 16 odd years, we have given so many patients, arthritis patients, who are going for knee replacement, hip replacement, we have done that. So we know that we can take away the pain. After all, why will we go for knee replacement only because it's paining? Now we know we can take away that pain. This is our Pooja Swamiji Chidanand Saraswati, Sadhvi Bhagwati Saraswati and Dr. Meghna Chaudhary. And here this is Ganga Nandani who was holding the yoga with Sadhvi Bhagwati. And uh, this is the felicitation that they were giving us. This is Dr. Uh, sorry, Justice Sirohi, one of the main organizers of the camp, of the whole G20 International Yoga Festival. This is all the prize distribution. So we have Swamiji. This is at Yamuna Jainti, on Yamuna Jainti, at the banks of the river, where we were doing Yamuna Aarti. So this is another new parampara which will start, where hopefully every day there will be Yamuna Aarti being conducted and cleaning Yamuna Drive. So just all our volunteers, everybody was getting into the river and cleaning. Namaskara. I am Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, Bangalore. And I've come here to tell you that we have just come back from giving a scientific talk as well as holding a medical camp at the G20 International Yoga Festival held at Vrindavan, Uttar Pradesh, comes under Mathura district. And this area is considered to be Golok, which means it is belonging to Radha Krishnan. For those services, we had also gone there. This is a very, very beautiful location where we gave a scientific talk on autologous DNA therapy where we take one drop of blood from the patient, make his own DNA, his own fetal stem cells, give it back as injections to the patient. So our first part of the medical camp, we started at the original house of Lord Krishna where he lived with his father Nanda Baba and Yashoda Maya and brother Lord Balram. From there we came down to the International Yoga Festival where we gave a scientific lecture following which all the delegates who had come for the yoga festival we were giving them also injections. There were a lot and lot of saints and peers who had come from all over that region and to these people also we were very grateful because it is with the blessings that the peace is maintained in our country because of the saints and all their blessings with us. This all we had done there. Now I have a little request from all our viewers. This all was done on Yamuna Jainti, the day Yamuna mother came down to earth. So this on 26th and 27th of March, they were also conducting the Yamuna Aarti. 
where it is a pledge was taken that Mother Yamuna also will be clean. Our Pujya Swamiji Chitanand Saraswati, 36 years ago, took the pledge to clean Mother Ganga. And today, we have got back the water samples that tells us the oxygen level of Mother Ganga has reached what it used to be before. Same now, if with all your help, we can do for Mother Kaveri. August 3rd is Adi Peruttu, which is supposed to be Mother Kaveri's Jainti. If by then we can have a little assembly where we can conduct Mother Kaveri Ki Aarti every single day. Thank you all very, very much.